Guys, I'm not sure how, but somehow I just so happened to have the latest and newest smart hashtag one right here beside me, which was recently launched two months ago here in Malaysia. It's surreal to think of and I still can't get my head around it. But since I'm having this car with me right now, right, I'm going to share with you guys what's so cool about this car and everything this car has to offer. It's going to be a very exciting one. So yep, without further ado, Let's go. Now, if you guys don't know what this car is, right, which I assume many of you guys aren't familiar with because this is still a fairly new car. This is basically a fully electric premium subcompact SUV. Yes, you heard that right. This is actually an SUV, not a hatchback. I know it looks small in photos, but this car is actually larger in person. It's much more spacious now. And this car is also technically the successor to the Smart 42 or 44, which was famous for being small, fun size and cute. This one has definitely grown up much more, it's much larger now. And what's really cool about this car right, is that the Smart brand now is a joint venture between Geely and also Mercedes. So everything you see outside, right, the design inside and outside are all done by Mercedes themselves. And the engineering and architecture side of things, those are done by Geely. So it's technically the best of both worlds. Now, just before we hop into the juicy bits of this car, right, like the cool features and exterior styling, firstly, let's talk about the technical side of things like the performance, the price, the range, because all those you also want to know, right? So this car has three different variants to choose from. The first would be the Pro, which starts from 189,000. And then the second, you have the Premium, which costs you 219,000. And last but not least, you have this right here, which is top of the range variant, which is called Brabus, which costs you 249,000 ringgit. In terms of power, right, the Pro and the Premium both uses a single motor that powers the rear axle, making it rear wheel drive and produces 270 horsepower and 343 Newton meters of torque. 0 to 100 km per hour in that car just takes 6.7 seconds, which is quite fast already. And if you think that it's not enough, right, you can opt for this right here. So this is the Brabus Edition, which bumps the power all the way up to 420 horsepower and 543 Newton meters of torque. 0 to 100 km per hour just takes 3.9 seconds, under 4 seconds. That's really, really quick. Okay, in terms of range, right, the Pro only has 315 kilometers. The Premium has 440 kilometers of range and the Brabus has 400 kilometers of range. You may be wondering, eh, how come the top of the spec variant has less range, right? That is because it has to sacrifice a bit of range for all those performance and power that this car puts out. And last but not least, which is the most important factor, that is the charging capacity for this car. So all three cars come to equipped with 150 kilowatt what DC charging all right so that takes roughly around 30 minutes to charge from 10 to 80 percent in terms of AC charging right the Pro which is the base model only uses a 7.6 kilowatt onboard charger which takes roughly around seven and a half hours to charge from 10 to 80 percent which is quite long but if you opt for the premium or the Brabus one right it uses a 22 kilowatt instead of the 7.6 and that reduces the charging time to just three hours if you're wondering why is the hood open right this is because normally this is where i explain all the technical side of things in front of the engine itself but obviously this car is a fully electric you don't have engine but you have a slot here to basically put your stuff a very tiny storage space right here which is always nice okay now let's move to the juice Bits. Firstly, let's talk about the colour itself because for the colour, right, you can choose whatever colour you want which is very rare in Malaysia because in Malaysia, you're only limited to just a few different colour choices which is kind of boring but for this car, you want red, you want blue, you want white, you want green, you want silver, you want grey, you want black whatever colour you name it, they have it and even the top part here, you can see this one's finished in black currently you can even opt to have it in red colour also if you want to which is always nice it gives you the flexibility to choose your own likings Right, so for the front design, right, I just have the keys with me. So this is the smart key, which is round in shape, very cute, very nice. This one is finished in black. If you have to get for the Pro or the Premium, right, it's actually white in color. Okay, if I press unlock, right, just take a look at the light and what it does. It basically performs a light show when you unlock the car. You can see, which is really cool. You've got this light bar that runs across from the middle all the way towards the side, which I think looks very nice at night. Okay, the Brabus Edition also comes with these extra vents on the hood itself you get a sportier side vents as well for the brabus you got this red color accents on the grill itself obviously you don't have grill because this is an uh, ev so you could just for show right here okay then this is where it houses all the sensors you got a brabus badging right there with a red color pin strap around the side the front is actually very fierce but very minimalistic at the same time as you head towards the side you get this massive 19 inch wheel which has this different wheel design as compared to the Pro and the Premium itself. You also get red color brick calipers for the Brabus, red color 
pin straps around the side skirt as well. And then if you head towards the side, so this is the door handle. Just press this, it actually opens up. It shows you the smart word, which is always nice. Just pull this, it opens up the door. Okay, but just before that, let's head towards the back as well. You got this smart logo here, which is illuminated. Basically, this one actually lights up as well, which is nice. And then head towards the back. You can see the back, right? It gives you the resemblance of a Mercedes EQA because obviously, like I said, this car is designed by Mercedes, right? So you got this Mercedes EQA look. The light itself, which runs across all the way. You got to press unlock. The back also actually dances as well. Let's take a look at it. Now it's a bit too bright, so I don't think you can see. And it's very clean. You can see the back, there's nothing much, just the hashtag one logo right there. The bottom here, you got this diffuser with black color bits and also red color on the side. You also have kick sensor on the Brabus edition. You just kick here, what happens? It senses and it opens up. Okay, it failed me because it doesn't always work at somehow. You press this button, there's a powered tailgate. Once it opens up, it reveals a decent amount of space, I would say, for a car like this segment. Okay, so you can put your stuff inside here. If you can fold the seats down if you want more storage space. All right, inside here, if you open this up, this is where your, your charging cables and everything, you can put more stuff underneath right there. Okay, just press this button, close it back down. Yeah, that's about it for the exterior. Now let's head to the interesting part that is the interior. Okay guys, now you now join me in the cockpit or interior of the Smart Hashtag 1. Like I said, this is the Brabus edition and it actually has a lot of differences as compared to the Pro and Premium. For example, on the steering wheel itself, right? You can see this area here is finished in Alcantara. You got red color stitching on the steering wheel itself. You got the Brabus wood right there. Even the the pedals are finished in aluminium as well to give it extra sportiness. This center piece right here, these are all finished in gun metal. If not, normally it'd be white in color and it's very nice and clean actually. You can see if you press this, it opens up, it reveals a wireless charger, right? You got charging ports right here, which is very convenient. You push this back, you get cup holders, close this, you press this, it gives you a storage box, but it's not just an ordinary storage box. This one, as you can see, you can adjust the temperature. Basically, this one is actually cooled and chilled, so you can keep your stuff, cool stuff inside to keep it nice and chilled. Okay, you also have red color seat belts for the Brabus. You can see all the red color stitching around the side as well. See, red color Brabus embroidery. The side here is red. Even towards the back as well, you can see, yeah, it's all black and red. Even the headliner, right? This one is supposedly in cream or white color if you opt for the Pro and Premium, but this one is finished in black. Like I said, for extra sportiness. In front here, you can see you got this screen right here. It's very slim. So this one, it basically tells you everything you need to know. Even though it's so small, right? It shows you perfectly like a place here. Basically, it's within your line of vision. You don't have to look towards your left. You can just look down, which is much better. You have the speakers beats by Dr. Dre, which sounds absolutely heavenly, but obviously I can't do it to show you guys because it's due to copyright reasons okay then you got this massive screen right here which is very interactive i didn't know until i started playing around with it it shows you everything it's very easy to use as well you got a nice cute little fox there you got this earth right basically if i change the driving mode take a look at what happens to the earth it actually spins yeah it's really really cool Okay, then you press this button, it pops up shortcut, link it that says auto hold, energy regeneration, standard strong, E pedal, okay, one pedal driving. All right, you press back, you go to this right here. You can see these are all your controls. You can open your tailgate automatically, head up display, child lock. You can even lock the left and right for this. So this is very baby or child friendly. Okay, then you have head up display right there. You can see a head up display that shows tons of things as well. Yeah, everything is very easy to use. You got ambient lighting, you can choose single, dual zone, or team. Obviously, you can't really see now because it's still bright. Yeah, but it looks very night good at night. You got driving assistance here. Yeah, they have a lot of safety features and technology, advanced technology systems as well in this car, which is always nice. And also the voice command on this car is actually very responsive. For example, hello smart. Open the sunroof. Okay, open the sun. You can see the sunroof basically opens all the way up towards the back. And what's really nice about this, right, is you don't have a center piece right here that blocks half of the view, which doesn't look that nice. Okay, this one you can see extends all the way towards the back. So the passenger at the back so you can get the very airy feel. Okay, now I'm currently at the back seat and I would say this car is actually very spacious. This one is already pushed all the way back 
towards the end maximum and you can see i still have so much leg room right this one also because it's an ev right you get the advantage of not having a central tunnel so the person in middle can sit comfortably you got two aircon vents yeah the back here is actually very spacious even the seats are inclined towards back so if for long distance driving right you can sit very comfortably you can lie down and relax you got this very nice view with a nice panoramic view on top wow what a nice day today is and yeah that's about it guys my review of the smart hashtag one so a huge thanks to proton and also one of my friends right here who actually allowed me to film this because without them right this wouldn't be possible and i've always wanted to film new cars but then my channel isn't just too big so i can't actually get first-hand access to actually film cars like this so whenever i'm given a chance to film a car like that right i'm very very grateful and thankful for it so yep huge thanks to them so what do you guys think do you guys this car is worth the buy because nowadays you can see the rapid growth of ev cars in malaysia already. there's so many choices to choose from but for me this car would say if you get this car right it's very unique and also there are actually a lot of things i've not talked about it yet which are very cool especially from the app the charging stations this car is way more advanced as compared to the rest okay so this car is very good here in malaysia i would say this is number one in terms of the app itself and where you can charge how the system how it works yeah this one works very well so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please remember to like subscribe and share your friends and i shall catch you guys next time ciao